Hi children, I hope everyone had gone through the previous topic. We had studied about parallels and uh, meridians and we had completed the first topic parallels or lines of latitudes. So today I will start the next topic lines of longitudes or meridians. Before starting today's session, let us revise the previous topic once again. What are latitudes? The full circles that run from east to west are called lines of latitudes. And the important latitude is equator. And equator divides the earth into two equal parts, northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. And what is an equator? An imaginary line drawn midway between the North Pole and South Pole are called equator. And the important latitudes are equator, North Pole, South Pole, Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle. Okay. So, let us start today's topic. Lines of longitudes. Lines of longitudes are also called meridians. Lines of longitudes are also called meridians. What are longitudes? The set of lines that run from north to south on the globe are called longitudes. The set of lines that run from north to south are called longitudes. Draw the diagram here. These are the longitudinal lines. The lines that run from north to south are called lines of longitudes. Now we can check what are the facts about longitudes. All meridians or lines of longitudes are of the same length. What is the first fact? All meridians or lines of longitudes are of the same length. But what about the latitudes? They are not in same length. But the longitudinal lines are same length. The second fact is meridians Cut the parallels at right angles 90 degree. That means 90 degree north and 90 degree south. All the meridians cut the parallels at right angles 90 degree. But latitudes are full circles. They are not cutting anywhere. But the longitudes are cut the parallels at right angles 90 degree north and 90 degree south. Okay. And the next third fact is the longitudes do not run parallel to each other. The longitudes do not run parallel to each other. What do you mean by do not run parallel? They are not at an equal distance. Check the diagram children. The meridians are not at an equal distance from each other not equal distance but the latitudes lines are at an equal distance from each other but longitude lines are not equal distance from each other that is it is telling the meridians do not run parallel to each other okay and they meet at the two ends all the meridians meet at the two ends. That means all meridians meet at the north pole and the south pole because they are cutting here. Parallels are full circles. They are not meeting anywhere. But meridians meet at the two ends. That means north pole and the south pole. Okay. And the maximum distance maximum distance between any two meridian is at the equator the maximum distance is there near to the 
equator you can check the diagram okay and near the poles the distance keep decreasing as they move away from the equator towards the poles when you are checking the diagram you can easily understand the distance keep decreasing as they move away from the equator the distances are keep decreasing towards the poles okay latitudes length is not same but the longitudes lengths are same and the latitudes distances are equal but longitudinal lines distances are not equal okay the important longitudinal line is prime meridian the important longitudinal line is prime meridian and it is marked as 0 degree like equator prime meridian also marked as 0 degree and prime meridian passes through greenwich the important longitudinal line is prime meridian and prime meridian passes through greenwich in detail you will study about greenwich in sixth standard okay prime meridian is also called a greenwich meridian because prime meridian passes through greenwich that is why prime meridian is also called a greenwich meridian so prime meridian is marked as zero degree and prime meridian divides the earth into two equal parts prime meridian divides the earth into two equal parts eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere prime meridian is divided into two equal parts eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere okay eastern hemisphere and a western hemisphere and the meridians towards the east are marked as capital letter e and the meridian towards the west are marked as capital letter w like north n and s you know the same okay so prime meridian divides the earth into two equal parts eastern hemisphere and a western hemisphere and the lines of longitudes there are 360 lines of longitudes are there there are 360 lines of longitudes or meridians are there 180 degree is in the eastern hemisphere and 180 degree is in the western hemisphere total 360 meridians are there 180 degree is in the eastern hemisphere 180 degree west in the western hemisphere so 180 degree plus 180 degree total 360 degree meridians are there okay then 180 degree east the meridians of 180 degree east and 180 degree west form the same line is known as the international date line 180 degree east and 180 degree west form the same line is known as the international date line the international date line 180 degree east and 180 degree west form the same line is known as the international date line about this also you will detailly study in sixth standard okay now we can check how to locate places on a globe how to locate places on a globe
how to locate places okay the lines of latitudes and the lines of longitudes cut each other at right angles and form a network on the globe is called a grid what is a grid the lines of latitudes that means east to west lines and the lines of longitudes that means north to south cut each other and form a network on the globe that is called a grid this is a grid okay the lines of latitudes and lines of longitudes cut each other and form a network on the globe is called a grid the lines which a latitude and longitude meet the place where a latitude and longitude meet helps us to locate a place okay with the help of grid we can locate the places okay so what is a grid the lines of latitudes and lines of longitudes cut each other and form a network on the globe is called a grid with the help of grid we can locate the places now we can check how to use an atlas do you remember what is an atlas a book of map is called an atlas and an atlas contains three types of maps political maps physical maps and thematic maps which are the three maps political maps physical maps and thematic maps and atlas also has an index which helps us to find the location of a place what is an index atlas also has an index in your textbook also has an index you can check the textbook also okay like this you can see in an atlas also the same uh, type of index pages uh, here it is lesson number lesson name and page number here it is mentioned like this because it is a textbook the same way atlas also has an index page which helps us to locate the places okay we completed our chapter parallels and uh, meridians okay let's revise the points once again what are longitudes the set of lines that run from north to south are called uh, lines of longitudes and uh, the important longitudinal line is prime meridian and it is marked as 0 degree prime meridian is also called a greenwich meridian and prime meridian divides the earth into two equal parts eastern hemisphere and a western hemisphere there are 360 lines of longitudes 180 degree is in the eastern hemisphere and 180 degree is in the western hemisphere and the meridians of 180 degree east and 180 degree west form the same line is known as international date line and what is a grid the lines of latitudes and lines of longitudes cut each other at right angles and form a network on the globe is called a grid with the help of this grid we can locate the places okay and a book of map is called an atlas an atlas contains three types of maps political maps physical maps and thematic maps it also has an index which helps us to find the location of a place okay children all of you should read the textbook you will get the question answers through never skip app that also should write neatly okay we will see next time thank you